Listen to the recording. If I sound a little cranky, I'm just tired. I've been driving for three days of constant rain, dealing with dumb drivers. Anyways, last week, after two minutes of messing around with the new chat setting from Polygot, Polyglot, our party resumed their adventure in the first level of the Undermountain. The party worked to wake up Richter, who had collapsed, grabbing his head and falling unconscious. The party tried various methods of walking. Nope. The party tried various methods of <laughs> <laughs> you guys suck. And you love us for it. <laughs> Ooh, sa, deep breath. <laughs> the party tried various methods of waking the unconscious ranger before Harold was able to slap him awake, leaving the onyx coffin. The group moved on, finding a throne room they believed to have been the trophy room of the Mad Mage. Kai Venom decided to investigate the throne that was made from bones carved into serpent-like shapes. Richter quickly moved to the center of the room, fearing the throne was trapped. Sitting on the throne, Kai Venom What? <laughs> That's just amazing. I want to know what Sparky is, though. <laughs> Who the fuck is Sparky? Probably Spark Plug Girl. <laughs> Oh, that makes sense. Ah, yes. Poutine issues. All right. Um, sitting on the throne, Kai Venom triggered a trap, but did not take any damage. Unfortunately for Richter, more Undertakers heard the trap trigger from a nearby room and swarmed the chamber, attacking the first target they saw illuminated in the space, Richter. The worst experts then resumed their judicious extermination of the undertakers for trying to extort them for 50 gold each. While the party battled the undertakers, Richter was able to get away from his, his assailants, making it to a dark corner of the room and disappearing from sight, just a sliver of health. I hear you're chewing, Daniel. A flesh golem and undertaker captain named Hera attacked from the... Mm. Say it. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> 
<laughs> a flesh golem and an undertaker captain named Hera attacked from another side room, splitting the party. <laughs> Nisa was able to determine the flesh golem was immune to non-magical attacks and afraid of fire before she and Kai Venom worked together with Richter to swiftly kill the undertakers who attacked Richter. Bastion and Buckbeak took the brunt of the Flesh Golem and Hera's attacks while Frank and Harold used fire and magic to start whittling down the Flesh Golem. Kai Venom was able to finish off the Flesh Golem by improvising a fire crossbow bolt on the fly, burning down the Flesh Golem. Kai Venom also finished off Hera as the party surrounded her in the hallway. Some healing was quickly done and then we ended the session, bringing us tonight. I'm okay, back. So, so I think we stopped last time just short of looting. Yes. Yeah, we did all the heals and then it was going to loot. Yeah. Attention, attention. Stasis engaged. Alright, so I guess I'll come up and start looting the bodies that are by the dragon wyvern bones things. Okie dokie, roll a... Whoever wants to loot, roll an investigation check. Crunch, crunch, oh, that crunch, was terrible. crunch, crunch. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> no, that was terrible. <laughs> you talking about my roll there? Nice rolls. Got to get them out of the way early. Frank will say to Bastion, go check around the corner, see if there's anything else coming. I'm going to send Buckbeak first, and we'll go around the corner. Don't go down the hall, just peek. Okay, uh, you guys find 24 crossbow bolts, 5 lot, 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 lot. Nope. Five light crossbows. <laughs> Six scimitars. Ten well-crafted daggers. Forty-one gold. Twenty-eight silver. Twelve copper. And... Wait, forty-one gold, twenty-eight silver? Is that what you said? And Frank, while you're searching one of the Undertakers, you find uh, you find a tiger eye gem tucked into a boot. Uh, 
Got it. Does that have any meaning or is it just a gem? Could have some value to it. Got it. All right, I'm going to I'll hold up the gem and say gem and then I'll pocket it. There is a value to it. All right. I'm going to investigate this room. I will give you a value to it, but just so you know that if you're trying to sell it, <coughs> shopkeepers might take it not face value. Sure. Uh, where is it? Why did... Why do I have a negative on that? What? Because it rolled as Buckbeak, not you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the heck? <laughs> Thank you. Poor Buckbeak. Yeah, Buckbeak isn't that bright. He, he tried. The gem <laughs> is worse. Oh, I'm not the only one apparently with the sucky rolls today. But you still rolled better than Buckbeak. <laughs> <laughs> the gem is worth 10 gold. Got it. Now, how are Harold and Daniel looking? You guys pretty beat up? Solid. Health-wise, I'm fine, but I'm getting kind of tired. I don't know how many more spells I can cast today. How long would you guys say we've been down here? Five hours, six? Before that last fight, it was about 3 p.m. ish. And then we explored a little further, got in that last big fight, so I don't know what time it is now. So we should probably take a rest. Heal That's up, probably stuff a like good that. idea. All right. Well, the thing to keep in mind with the fights is it takes a while for us to go through it, but that fight oh, yeah. was probably less than a minute. I understand. I, th I think that well, because each round of combat probably is what ten six seconds. Six, six seconds. Six seconds. Yeah. So ten rounds of combat is one minute. Uh, Bastion, you obviously see a bed in the room, and a dirty rug on the floor in the middle of the room. Bastion, what do you got down there? I don't see a lot of uh, anything interesting. You can come check it out. See if see what you find. Richter, come on. What's in the desk thing, or is that a desk? I don't know. What is that? Looks like a crate or a box. What's this black void I'm looking at? Oh, it's it's just the. Uh, there's a bone on the ground and it's acting as a wall so you just have to go left and it'll become visible uh, yeah that's just a map being funny DM is this a box roll for perception or investigation whatever is higher if you are searching the room <coughs> 15 Not Frank would well. like Frank would like to look just for papers, journals, stuff like that. Yeah, Rick's looking at it on the search too. Huh. And you still pulled a nine. Yeah. There's a cot on against the south wall. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's a cot on the south wall. Other fur furnishings, no. Other furnishings <laughs> include a lit lantern which rests atop a wooden trunk painted with pictures of clowns, a frayed circular rug, and a folded wooden privacy screen. 
So it's a trunk? It's a trunk. Can I check it for traps? Sure. Investigation. It's not trapped. All right. What I'm going to do is I say, all right, everyone walk out of the room real quick. You don't believe me? What is a trunk? I see <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I said like a big... <laughs> Just lack of trust. Room. All right, I'm going to slowly tip the top up and take a look inside. What you find... Uh, contains a disguise kit as well as a small selection of theater costumes and props. And that's it. Costumes? And props? Oh, Kai, to get past that black thing, just go down to the bottom corner of the room and you'll see past it. It's just a small wall. That black thing in the room is uh, kind of like a GM. Whoever made the map. Yeah, it's just a map glitch. Oh. Yeah, it's, it, it acts as if there's a wall there. Ah, I see, mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's supposed to be the privacy screen. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna take the, the Tiger Eye Gym out, hand it to Daniel. And I'm going to steal the, uh, dis or not steal, I'm going to take the disguise kit. No, nope, you're going to steal. <laughs> steal? Technically, you can't steal it because she's dead. I mean, sure. grave robbing is still theft. Yeah. If you want to get technical. She hasn't been dead long enough for it to become archaeology. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you could add a disguise kit to your inventory. Um, I'm going to look at the gem while he does that. Your notes. It's shiny. Got it. Maybe I should sit again on the throne. It's a tiger eyes gem. Looks very pretty. All right, Verse. Should we, uh, should we rest in here? Yeah. All right, Is Daniel, there any... come with me for a minute. Is there anything okay. specifically on Hera's corpse? Uh, that was the, uh, Frank found the tiger eye gem in her boot. Oh, okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure. All right, Daniel, pick up the door and hold it right in the place it was before it was broken down. All right, I'm going to go whoa, get the whoa, door. Whoa, hold up, hold up. <laughs> There's a couple of us still outside. <laughs> yeah, how smooshed is the door? Was it's it just like shattered? Oh, that's okay. what I thought. I thought it was. I I took it as it got just thrown off its hinges, not that it exploded on impact. Yeah, Why don't we just heard. remove it, another door? We can do that. You could definitely try. <laughs> hey, Rick, We're in the remodeling take this door off the hinges. Do you ever look at the top? Uh, that top hallway. See what's down there. I could take a look. Yes. Just peek. All of us are over well, here. Just don't come. Don't come this way. Let me. Let me do my thing. Gotcha. Oh, what? You want light? <laughs> <laughs> I can do make I you as squishy to... as you were before. I gave you those hit points back. Just remember that. <laughs> do I have to do anything to take the door off the hinges? Roll well, a I... check. A what? Or, or. What tools do you have? Why do you want to take the door off its hinges? Well, I was going to fix the other door back in place and shut it so we'd have some security. I have, I have a crowbar. Yeah, I have a crowbar, a hammer. Where is I it? do not. I've got the basic hammer. tools. Um, thieves tools. Roll a d20 plus proficiency... Oh, actually, I do have a hammer. In your toolkit, whatever that gives you. 
I guess I'm gonna help hold the door while whatever work is being done on the door to remove the door. You're able to remove the door without destroying it. Good job, Bastion. Let's put it back over here in the door frame. And I'll, Same thing. I'll aid him with using mending to put it back in. Roll an investigation, Richter. I didn't want to interrupt. That's pretty visible. Um, two glowing oil lanterns. You're not invisible. Uh hang from the chains above the table. On the table are three disguise kits and three backpacks. Each backpack is stuffed with 11 days rations. Food. I guess I'll grab the disguise kits and grab the bags and bring them back to everyone else and be like, look what I found. I say roll it with advantage because you're getting help. <laughs> it looks like the door would stay. Looks good, Bastion. All right, let's uh, take a rest inside. What do you guys think? Sure. Is that is anyone else hearing in their head like the Warcraft's uh, peasants should be like, job's done. <laughs> That's what I heard. <laughs> I guess close the door behind us. Yeah. Oh, yep. do we have something to block the door? Um door opens in into the main room. Hmm. Well, when we rest, we can have Bastion just post up on the corner because Warforge go into like a sentry mode when they um, rest, don't they? You guys see Nisa frozen in stasis mode. I just took her off the map. That's to make things easier. Okay. Wait, do we, we know at this point that Bastions were forged? Nope. No. Nope. nope. Okay. I do. Never mind. Well, we can take watches throughout the uh, rest. Make sure we're not going to get s snuck up you, on. You know that he has metal hands, but you're not fully sure that he is a Warforged. I think Nisa would be the only one who could probably guess that he is one. But she actually kept that information to herself. I thought I knew because I nat 20 on what a Warforge was. and You rolled that as a nat 20 for her. Oh, uh, yeah. So I because probably, uh, Bastion, Bastion is fully covered up. Am I right? Bastion? Probably not pushing the button or he's muted. Unpush your button. Bastion. Hello. Hello. Yeah, I've been holding the button the whole time, and apparently it wasn't working, so I just put it back on voice activity rather than push to talk. Because I've been talking this whole time, and nobody's. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh. But so yes, the, the armor I'm up. wearing is fully covered um, from head to toe. I'm, I'm not showing my body anywhere. It's half plate with uh, leather armor underneath it, underneath the metal. So it's... I'm hidden, unless you've like actively tried to look at whenever I get hit. Mm. Right, so... As they attempt to close the door, does it fall over? <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, I'm going to check the door, make sure it kind of <laughs> stands, give it a little shake. <laughs> no, it does not fall over. Okay. 
But in either case, uh, who was that checking the door? Daniel. Daniel. Uh, roll a perception check. Please roll one. <laughs> <laughs> Close. <laughs> yep. Door looks like it works. Just in case, I'm going to pull the uh, two broken stab halves and I'm going to shove them into the door and like just jam it. Roll a strength check. What if we can't get out? We break the door down? <clears throat> I can break down a door. Yeah. <laughs> you get them in there. <clears throat> awesome use for a magical item. Well, you said it was like dying at this point, like the, the magic was dissipating. Might as well put it out of its misery. Yeah, it's like I could put the halves back together, but I can't put the magic back into it. You don't know if the magic will be put back into it on its own. If the That's two halves got thought. put to get the, if the two halves were put together. I'll have to try to fix it after I get out of the door. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a problem for tomorrow, Bastion. Mm-hmm. All right, I'll take the first watch. Anyone want to join me? Sure. I'm going to be out here anyway. So watches are separated mm -hmm. of... How many watches are, do you guys want to do? How many are we? We're six, right? There's six. We could do three watches. Three. And yeah. Eight maybe. hours is a full rest. Yeah. If somebody you. wants to stay up with me, that's fine. But I'm so to give be, you a, oh, a time frame, okay. a, a, after searching and resting and healing, uh, it would be a, about six, seven o'clock at night. That's where we're at before the rest. Oh yeah, Richter divvied up. We're going to divvy up all those rations Richter got, didn't he? He never mentioned it. I, I brought them yeah, over. I, I said oh. I grabbed the stuff. Yeah, he over said, said, hey, look, look what I found. found. <laughs> well, you guys could always talk amongst yourselves before you fall asleep. Um, yeah, well, if we do three watches, eight hours, gives you say two and a half hours per watch with a ten minute overlap between roughly I'll stay up for all of them somebody else can just swap out with whoever wants to be up for me with me uh, I don't think that's a I'll good idea do you not need rest <laughs> yeah I'm gonna look at that kind of suspicious me. leave it to me and somebody else can just tag out if you're separating it with th three watches, it'd be two and a half hours each. <clears throat> All right, I'll, I'll stay on the first watch with, uh, I guess, Bastion. Mm -hmm. He's fine. He doesn't need a rest. Yeah, I, I, I'll be, I'll be okay. Just somebody can can stay up with me and just, if you want. But yeah, I'll be good. Who Why has don't that, you need to that, sleep? that No hold on. Who has that uh that scabbard that doesn't fit anything? Kai Venom. Yeah, me. What do you want? Can I see it for a few minutes? Sure. I just want to see if I can figure anything out about it. Sure. Why? There is one bed in the room. That's a cot. Who's gonna steal it? I'll sleep on the floor. I'll sleep on the bed. Oh, look like Richter. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I mean, let, let, each let, other. Let's be honest. Harold does look like he needs the comforts of home, so I will, <laughs> I will give up the bed. I pass the scabbard over to Bastion. Okay. And Pretty sure if he slept on the floor, he'd break him. My con isn't bad, it's just my strength. 
I do it's a thing. Magical. He's okay. doing a thing on the scabbard. Actually, hold on. <clears throat> ah, mysterious dice. I roll. heard that. Oh, mm. He's doing shady things over there. Oh god, the bed was trapped. <laughs> Looks like it was a mimic. <laughs> the bed was a mimic. Looks like a normal scabbard to you. Okay. I'm just, uh, here you go. I, I don't see anything special about this. Uh, I guess the form will tell us later. Maybe. Thanks. <clears throat> uh, Bastion, can you see in the dark? I can't remember. No. All right. Frank's going to sit down on the floor right by the corner. He's going to take out the uh, the whiskey in two cups. He's going to pour a drink in each and hand one to Bastion. I and then he's so. and then he's going to douse his torch. Once I figure out how to douse the torch. Uh, if you right click on yourself and in the bottom left corner there's a gear you can turn off uh, your light source there I don't know if that's where the torch is right now but that's how I have light that should be yeah oh well Daniel's gonna there turned it off okay And I'm going to have a week just like sit right in front of the door and just okay. like plant so that Buckbeak is against the door and it can't open inward. It opens out to the throne room. Correct. I put it on backwards, okay? <laughs> so... So now I have a, a cup of whiskey I have to deal with. Uh, can I drink it? DM? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now the question is, I have to sneakily take my helmet off to drink it. <laughs> have, you been, have you been watching the uh, CR3? Um... I haven't kept up with it. I watched it. it it's basically 15, 16 what, with episodes. Warforges can technically still consume liquids and food, mm -hmm. but it it gets you would have, I guess, a mini carrying compartment for liquids. So like FCG with the the coffee or what was, what did they do? Was it coffee or wine? I can't remember. All the above. Okay. Yeah, I, I think yeah that we'll just go with that. That's one. <clears throat> because a lot of warforges tend to uh, not show them as warforges. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was just trying to think with where I came from. I was like. Would they have done anything so that I could join in on a party, or that'd be up to you? That that's just all my honest opinion on what your character uh, would have. If you want a compartment that holds fluids like FCG, go for it. That's your character, not me. problem is I'm just going to forget if I ever actually swallow anything. <laughs> I'll just start having a sloshy noise, just like, what's going on over there? Write it down. Um. Yeah, so I'm just going to uh, grab it. And walk around the corner real quick and very quickly just down it and then come back around the corner. Got it. 
Do you want to make a perception check, Frank, if you want to? Uh, <clears throat> no. I'm just going to assume he's patrolling. Okay. Uh, so Frank will say to Bastion, what the hell was that thing that came out with the, uh, the Undertaker? Would I know anything about it? Roll. Can they do it like a history check? Or okay, Arcana. I, I've, I, it, it would be Arcana. I know I said history before, but it'd be Arcana. Cool. I'm Is this to... for everyone or just for them? Just for them. You guys are passed out unless you're talking amongst yourselves. From what's going on in the chat, I think we're just having some pillow talk. <laughs> I figured as much. Um, yeah, it's a type of construct, but just Frankenstein style of a golem, just all flesh, a mad scientist created it. Okay. I'm just going to point over at Buckbeak. You see Buckbeak over there? Yeah. Think of something like that. Except if I made him out of Squishy's bits. Wait, you made Buckbeak? Yes. Out of what? Not Squishy bits. <laughs> Buckbeak is made out of uh, several different things. There, there's steel, some gold, different metals, all joined together and and just. Uh, Buckbeak is technically alive, but by magic. So it's kind of like that golem, but not necromantic. It's a little weird. Do you think we're going to see more of that down here? I would highly expect to find something like it somewhere. We just started getting down here. So far we've seen dead dragons, undead, a bunch of weird people who think they're vampires, and a weird coffin. And apparently the walls are alive. So, yes, I'm expecting more undead. And we're going to go deeper, right? I think that's everyone else's plan. All right, sounds good. Uh, so you can you see in the dark? I forgot. I forget. Did you answer that? I just hold. I, I hold up that little copper glowy coin. This is how I see in the dark right now. Do you think that's that, shining through the door so people will know we're here? I'll just stay back from the door. Then the, the light won't reach it. All right, so, I'm just going to sit there and just listen for anything on the other side of the door. So either both of you or one of you could roll with advantage a perception check. I'll roll one. Okay, I'll roll one too. I need one of you to roll a d100. You got it, Bastion. All right. D100, go. Three. <laughs> D100, no. Dragon <laughs> pokes his nose in. Everything under five. <laughs> now a D6. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, how dead asleep are you, Harold? Uh, I would probably be snoring. Okay. Um. Oh, you're snoring? <laughs> huh. Uh, let's see. 
how dead asleep is Daniel, Kai Venom, and Richter? I'm probably just, um, you know, keeping an eye out. Well, not an eye, but an ear out somewhat. Not that dead. Asleep, yeah. but not... Not not like, heavy sleep. Not like, like yeah. You know, you got that. You jump at like the lightest noise type deal. <clears throat> okay, both of you roll and, perception uh, check with disadvantage. I was gonna say Daniel wouldn't be asleep yet if Harold is snoring. <laughs> but you traveled with Harold before, so you would know how he would sleep. Yeah, but it takes a little bit. Okay. None of you. Damn it! Your dice stopped mine. None of you notice, um, but Frank, your passive would. You would hear uh, a mysteriously. Nope. You would hear a mysterious shuffle noise in somebody's uh, backpack around the corner. All right. I'm going to do this. One second. Let me find. What? I have yeah. magical events listed on here. For I'm like, long let's see, just, uh, <laughs> <laughs> if you're coming around the corner, I'm like draped, like one arm in my head, hanging off the bed, just drooling, like deep asleep. Using most no of your magical sticks? energy would knock somebody out if you really think about it. I'm gonna put on dancing light. Come around the corner, see if I can see whatever is causing that sound. And I'm gonna follow by. Now, do you, with your dancing light, it's kind of bright. Do you kind of put a um, a dimmer of some sort? No, nah, not if I heard something suspicious. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Roll a perception check. trying to decide if I wake up to the light or not. That's up to you. Uh, Roll a perception check on disadvantage. Me disadvantage or everyone else disadvantage? Everyone who is sleeping roll a perception except Harold. He's He said he's passed the fuck out. Just regular perception? <laughs> Another one? Disadvantage. Because I'm right here at the door. Yeah, I know. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, Frank Frank is standard. I got your 24. That was disadvantage, Richter? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did you Is a 19 and a 17 that I rolled? Okay, you get woken up by the light. Frank, why do you have lights on back here? Uh, there was it something was shuffling way. back here. Did you guys not hear it? Uh, you see Harold's backpack kind of shuffled around. Frank. Oh. Head over, grab Harold's backpack. Is it on him, or is it just like next to him? Um, he's sleeping, so. Well, I mean, is he sleeping with the backpack on, or is it off? Hey, Harold, what? How did you fall asleep with your pack? I probably kicked it off like right by the <laughs> side of the bed there, so I could grab it quickly if I needed to, but I wouldn't sleep with it on. All right, I'm gonna grab it and then gently pull it into the center of the room. Okay. Hey Harold, how organized do you do your backpack? It'd probably be a mess. Okay. It got rearranged in a neatly order. Uh, peek in. It, lo it looks organized. Is there any rats? Nope. I'm deathly looking for rats. No rats. No rats at all. Okay. No. None in any of the side pockets, right? Nope. I'm going to look around the room. Do I see any rats? Nope. All right. I'm going to put...
put his backpack back. And then... Uh, I mean, none of us would know that his bag's usually disorganized, so seeing it organized would just seem... Oh, he's... I would have done it in Whisper, but who cares about shuffled around backpack items? Only Harold's character would know that he's disorganized of a backpack. Once he reopens it, he'll find it all organized. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna figure out how to kill this fucking light. Our master foundry player is not here tonight, so... Uh... I mean, you... Does it count as a concentration spell? You could try uh, setting it to zero. No, how you can do it is... Um... Delete it from... No, just just, just wait. Because it looks like you added light to him. So I added that light. Was with... Okay, so that would have been with um, communion effects? Yeah. Yeah, just click on yourself and then click on the light again. That should turn it off. There. Ah, there you go. Right, it's on again, no, by the way. Son of a bitch. <laughs> son of a bitch. Well, with no rats, I'm going to go back around the corner. And I guess finish the watch. So your watch goes unmolested. Uh, second watch. All right, I'll head back in and. Second was I think Kai was taking it. Yep. Yeah. Daniel, I have to ask: Are you sleeping with your armor or now? Yes. This is something he regularly does. Well, do you know in the game term? rules that if you're sleeping with armor you don't get a full night's nice rest? No. Because it's highly uncomfortable. It's uh then I guess he isn't sleeping with armor? I've never I don't know, that's something new to me. There's something there is something about it. Yeah. Uh, then I guess I'm not sleeping with armor. Let me look it up really quick. I know it's I know it's something that has to deal with resting and full plate. No, I read it in the DMG. Well, Frank takes uh, the cup he handed to Bastion, pours another drink of whiskey, and hands it to Kai Venom as she heads out. Oh, someone said whiskey. I'm all in for it. Just the one drink for the watch. Uh, uh, thank you, thank you. I know where I read it. it. It was in the uh, uh, Xanthor's Guide DMG Master Tools. Just as in the real world, D&D characters spend many hours sleeping, most often as part of a long rest. Most monster monsters also need to sleep. While a creature sleeps, it is subjugated... Subjugated... Subjected... <laughs> <laughs> to unconscious condition. Here are a few rules to expand on that basic fact. Sleeping in armor. Sleeping in light armor has no adverse effect on the wearer, but sleeping in medium or heavy makes it difficult to recover fully during a long rest. When you finish a long rest which you slept in medium or heavy, you regain one quarter of your spent hit dice. Minimum of one if 
any levels of exhaustion. The rest does not reduce your exhaustion level. No, then it wouldn't even make a difference because I would get back the minimum of one and because I have no levels of exhaustion either. Which is good. And I know we did a short rest before. Did you use any of your hit dice then? Um, I think I used one. You used one, so you could yeah. technically sleep yeah, in so your I armor. Yeah, so I just get back one. Nah, since I didn't, I'll keep it in mind later, but since I said I didn't, then I still am in armor. I would honestly rule it as if you're wearing full plate, medium I'm armor. I'm not wearing full plate. What are you wearing? Chainmail. Oh. That's medium armor, isn't it not? It's heavy. I would say if you're wearing heavy armor, it, it would... You would not sleep very comfortable. If medium armor is kind of a pass... Um, and light armor, obviously you could sleep in it. And no armor, like Harold. For now, uh, because I didn't say I fine. took it off, but... Uh, Frank takes off his armor and lays down. Okay. I don't even know what I have for armor. You're naked. I have a chain shirt. Medium armor. Yeah. Yeah, Richard would be keeping it on for now. Okay. Is it just Kai Venom and Bastion? Out in the hall? Yes. Doing the second watch. Ashton, you, you really should swap with someone else, man. I'm good here in the hall. War forges do need to shut down, power down. Yeah, no, the, the sentries for four hours. Cool beans. Um. You two um, talk amongst yourselves. Get yeah, out. Uh... Double check my. Th so I need to be still for six hours. As long as you don't move. Should work. Okay. Low power. Low power mm -hmm. mode. She asked you a question. Oh, sorry. ADHD. Sidetracked. What was the question? <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to? Are you sure you're okay? I can move down to the end of the hall. I'll be okay here if somebody else wants to. If I come down here. And then I'll post up here at the, uh, the end of the. On the bleh. I'll go down end the guy. <laughs> end of the hall. Does one of you want a little bit of. No. Just, just go on. <laughs> No, go away. <laughs> <laughs> I about died last time because of it. <laughs> Light is not my friend. And I can't see good in the darkness. I don't need light. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, I'm good to just kind of chill and pass the night. I'm not an overly social person. <laughs> Unless Kai's, you know, completely social and needs to chatter someone's ear off.
roll a perception check, either one each or one person roll it with advantage. I can roll. You can roll too, um, or unless you want to do it with advantage. Oh, I can do it with advantage, yeah. Go for it. He still got a 14. He yeah. Did. yeah. Oh shit. Roll a d100, please. Oh no. <laughs> Is my backpack going back to messy? Mm-hmm. Are we meant to see your rolls, Game Master? Yep. Oh, okay. I changed it when I need to do a here. private. Okay. Okay, I need my other book for this. He wants to instill fear. Where's my DMG? There it is. Ooh. Um. Use Appendix A. No. Give me a quick, second. Somebody, quick, somebody figure out what book he's using. <laughs> <laughs> He said DMG. He's well, uh, my DMG won't help because it's from second edition. <laughs> I mean, I do have my character sheet open on DMG Beyond. I could just open up the DMG there and go to Appendix A and what Shut up. 13 is. <laughs> or you might not get it. No. Oh. I low key think it's Harold snoring that's bringing all these things around to us. Probably is. <laughs> his, it's like, his, his it's like little Nick be like, hip hip hooray for Captain Terry. <laughs> it's like, he's snoring like little Nicky when he's uh, talking in his sleep, demonic. Damn. I'm kidding. Uh, where is it? You had a lucky roll there, Richter. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, shit, where'd that page go? Talk amongst yourselves, you two who are awake, while I'm doing this. So, um, what do you think we're gonna see for the rest of the dungeon? Think we're gonna find what we're looking for? Yeah, if we don't get killed first. Who says we're gonna get killed? Come on now. We're better than that. I said if. If. Uh, they're not, they're not. I mean, I step into the light one time and I get fucking rocked, so. And don't just uh, don't stand in the middle of the freaking room next time. Next time, check the goddamn throne for traps before you fucking sit on it. Hey, I was fine. I don't know about you. Yeah, you're fine with those puncture wounds in your arm, right? <laughs> yeah, it's just a one tiny little puncture and nothing there. That snake, though, was interesting. Which one? On that snake chair was very interesting. I mean, 
I still would look to see if there is a mechanism. Oh, honestly, I honestly would like to bring it uh, back with me, but it's a little big. That would be quite useful. <clears throat> I'm sure if you asked uh, Nisa, she would like hack it to pieces for you and like put it into like a bag of holes that I think Bastion has. Yeah, but I need I need the whole thing working, you know, not not destroyed. We can get duct tape. Duck what? <clears throat> duct tape. <laughs> <clears throat> Who wants to roll a D one? Uh, no, D ten. I'll try it. Where is my D10? <laughs> one. Doesn't What's matter what dice we're rolling. We're rolling one like a fucking champ. <laughs> we're the worst experts for a reason. Uh, okay. Roll a D100. Sixty-five. All right, not bad. It's better than my very first roll today. Okay. Uh, Richter and Kai Venom. Yes, well, I did to a pit. A goat. A gate. A goat. <laughs> a gate goat. A goat. A gate opens in the ceiling, and something falls out of it. What the heck is that? After which the gate closes and disappears. A vial of some sort clanks to the ground. Um, Does it look like it cracked when it fell? Nope. Um. Um. Rock, well, paper, scissors to see who takes a look uh, at it? Sure. How do we do that? Okay, I'm ready. Um, now. We can do like put a number between like one, two, or three in the chat. Then we count it down. On three, we hit enter, and if we got the higher number, you check it. Or you sure. just rock paper scissors and chat. Yeah. Yeah, we can just do. And then one you of go us three, two, one, and hit, then, and, and then that one, you two put in your answer. Oh yeah, that works too. I already typed. I'm ready. Okay. One, two, three. Ah, your win. You <laughs> That's pretty clever. Uh, uh, whoever <laughs> thought of that, give yourself an inspiration die. Woo. Neat. So wait, I lost. So I'm the one that check, right? Scissors cuts paper. Yeah. So it's a what <laughs> investigation? Uh the liquid inside the vial. Uh never mind. Because you are using dark vision and you can't see colors in dark vision. Yeah, I can. Can. No, I no. can't. You can bring it over to the Bastion. He's got a little. That's little exactly what I was thinking too. Yeah. So um, let me pick that up and do 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 do. Let's go to the light. Was it the and... loser to pick up the dangerous vial that's on the ground that could potentially yeah. blow up? Yeah. Uh, I'm okay. also the loser that sits on the on the throne without checking anything, right? So yeah, it's it's kind of appropriate then. So yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, 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 wait. What? Oh okay, I'll go ahead. <laughs> Alright, well, I picked it up already, and then I went up here. Uh, um, closer to Bastion, what can I see? You've seen brown, silver, and gray layers resembling bands of stone inside the vial. It's all liquid. Resembling what of stones? The potion is separated into brown, silver, and gray layers, resembling bands of stone. But it's all liquid. Huh. 
Havana, are you dead yet? Um, Richter, uh, Richter, did you ever see something like this? I show it to Richter, so I can see. I can Arcana. I was gonna say, can I do Arcana to see if I recognize it? Arcana. Yep. Arcana, Arcana, so whatever. Or can I do it? You lose an inspiration die for that. <laughs> no, I don't. Jokes on do you, I didn't have one. <laughs> 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 I was gonna say, you should probably get one for the fact that he's been roleplaying his sleep the whole fucking time. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't now. <laughs> Could I do a check too since I'm watching this? Are you awake or powered down? Sentry's dressed. I'm not I'm I'm not unconscious. They can still hear and see. Uh, see and hear normally. Yeah. Uh Richter, you find this as a potion of climbing. You've seen it before. That can be helpful. What is it? Uh it's a potion of climbing, so if you want to like scale a wall, it's kind of helpful. You've never seen this before. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to be like, uh, just you're, for you're some giggles. too busy counting yeah, ones and zeros. I don't either. <laughs> All right. Um, you know what? I think that would be useful for you. <laughs> Me or Harold, to be honest. Truth. Truth. Okay, let's keep it for Harold. Alright, I'm gonna go back here. The rest of your watch goes perfectly well. Oh, I'm gonna shake up uh, Harold up. Uh, <laughs> huh? Uh, hey, um, we got something for you. While we were sleeping, it, it literally fell off the ceiling. Um, it's apparently, a, according to Richter, um, a potion of climbing. Ooh! We, we thought you could use that. Considering you your know, strength is weak. Yeah, that, that would probably well, be very useful for me. The fact that his strength is weak, but also if he needs to run away from, say, guys with sharp pointy swords. Now I'm just picturing myself clinging to the corner of the ceiling like a spider with people trying to poke me with a sword. <laughs> but yeah, I'll take so it. Like, so like a man spider? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I give Harold um, the the potion before I go back to. Yeah, and I guess I'll wake up Daniel and be like, "Watch, your turn." Yeah. Daniel just kind of slowly stirs, looks at you, goes, just kind of nods and gets his stuff and heads off. Puts it all back on. Well, because I didn't take my armor off, so it's just a matter of picking up weapons and a shield and dragging his pack. Oh, uh, I'm probably going to grab my backpack and take a look at it. Would you it's... know that it was shuffled around? No. no. Oh, I guess if well, I'm getting up, I'm when... going to put my backpack on. So when he got up, then Richard would be like, while you were asleep, uh, Frank heard something coming from your backpack. Why didn't you wake me? I'm immediately going to check my backpack and see if my book is still there. It's still there. It's Your backpack is all organized now. <gasps> oh, it just clicked. <laughs> Every Everything's, or the, the book's there. That That's fine. Then I'm just going to that's weird. Somebody went through my backpack and rearranged everything. I'm going to close it back up. Roll an inside check, Harold. Never mind. I just want to say that our rolls are 
phenomenal today. I'm so glad we haven't had any combat. I was just gonna say, I'm so glad we're not fighting anything right now. Um, Daniel's gonna look at Harold and go, Morning. <laughs> morning. Can Bastion talk when he's in Sentry's Rest? Yeah, but he just can't move. He's like a computer, but on sleep mode. If you Right now, touch. I'm just standing against the wall with my mall, like, just, like, leaning on it. Um, Daniel and Harold, you could both make an inside check. And Bastion, roll a deception. Hey, hey. To see if I'm asleep, or? No. <laughs> right. Man, and I thought I was failing. <laughs> the, no, you don't me, know. I have a negative. <laughs> let me explain on that inside check. Um, you two can figure that Bastion is not human. To a, to an extent, you're not too sure. That's for Daniel. Harold, you know he's 100% not human and might be a robot. Uh, everybody has their secrets. So, you could put his metal hands two to two together of the interactions that you saw with him and, uh, nope, uh, Nisa. And uh, him holding the metal cup and not hurting. Um, was anybody actually paying attention when she gave me the thing, though? Because everybody else was eating it. Uh, there were two people that were right next to you. And I was heating up her cup for her until the little robot bartender got all pissed off. No, the the bartender Gizmo just got. Sad well, I was I was talking and well, jealous. Yeah, same thing. Petty, little petty robot. Don't make me Gizmo to be the B B E G. <laughs> I'll turn him into the Terminator. If that happens, I'm gonna. Uh, I will fully throw Harold under that bus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> Which Terminator? You don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm gonna tell Daniel, hey, you can watch the door, and I'm gonna go over and talk to Bastion. <laughs> I'm gonna keep one eye on the door and one eye on Harold because I'm kind of curious. Okay. I was just gonna say, hey man, in that fight yesterday, I saw you got pretty beat up, and I want you to know, I consider you my friend, and I'd never, I'd never let you go down. At this point, I'm not saying anything, cause like this is, I'm supposed to be sleeping or whatever, and I haven't shown you guys that I'm a robot. So I'm just going to stand here and, and just pretend that I'm asleep. Standing up. Yes. I mean, they, like, I've done like that in real life. Don't doubt this. <laughs> I've done it in real life, too. So I know what you mean. Yeah. Well, good talk, I guess. Go back down and resume watch. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not like you know I'm I'm awake at this point. You just know that I'm not, not a normal human. person. Either both of you roll a die for perception, or one of you roll a with advantage. You can roll with advantage. Alright. Just don't roll shit like you have been. 
No promises? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Roll a D100. I knew I bought that D100 for a reason. <laughs> Shame it won't pick up on the mic. That would be amazing. Video mode, go! Just roll it by your face so we can hear the <laughs> <laughs> Boom. It's a it's a whole pound, so it it would hurt. Oh, so it's thump. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a solid chunk of metal. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna make DMG again. Oh boy. Well, Harold, how did you sleep? Oh, I slept like a baby. I had a dream that I finally had enough money to buy my own ship. Mm hmm. Apparently, one of y'all were nice enough to organize my stuff for me. Actually, re roll that. I'm not gonna fucking do that. D100. You, you want Daniel to re-roll it? Yes. If it's a number of 61 through 65, re-roll it. Sorry, we do what? Re-roll your D100. Ah. Thirty. Kirk 13. Okay. Archie, I wonder if I open up the volume on push to talk if it will I need you to roll a d10 one <laughs> copycat <laughs> roll a d100 oh my gosh that's a lot of rolling oh, nope that, that would have been two hundreds Thirty-one. <laughs> I flipped it to thirteen. It's just the inverse. <laughs> <laughs> and it's half of my original roll. A gate opens in the ceiling and something falls out of it. After which the gate closes and disappears. It falls right here. I'm gonna look at Harold and look back at that. What just happened? I don't know. I'm gonna walk over and pick it up. It's a vial of some sort. It's a vial of some sort. You could roll huh. an arcana. And Daniel, you're the one who with healing, you could roll healing check. Do either of you have dark vision? Can you see the vial? I have that little shiny thing oh, okay. that you gave me I, the coin or whatever and you said oh, I didn't really healing it, I take yeah roll medicine check okay uh, excuse me Daniel you know that this potion is a potion of healing ah Standard potion, not anything bigger. Okay. Gonna look at Harold. So you know what it is, right? Totally. It's a uh, vial. That's a healing potion. Don't break it. We could use it later. <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, I'll hold on to it until everyone wakes up. Why is that? But seriously, where did that portal come from? I don't know. Because I don't think I saw anything, like, through it. It just opened and out came the healing potion. Huh. 
Huh. That's weird. Yeah. I think this whole place is weird. Well, no, this whole place is evil. Oh, that's why my keyboard's all fucking around with me. Because it's evil. <laughs> I mean, who makes a throne out of bones and carves them to look like snakes? An evil person. All I know is I don't like this person. <laughs> Whoever they are. Designed this crazy place and it hurts. Hurts to think about. Yeah, I mean, all I can say is I thought combat was going to be a lot tougher, but apparently I'm just really good at this shit. Daniel's going to look at him like and just nod. Yeah. <laughs> you know, kind of in the moment, you just you kind of feel inv invincible like you're alive. We have very different opinions about this. <laughs> So your watch goes unmolested, perfectly fine. Everybody gets a long rest, and the morning comes to an end. But first, Frank, you hear in your head You can run, but you can't hide. I will find you. Wherever you go. How do we do the long rest again? In your character, character sheet. sheet. Um, um, under your hit dice. Long rest. Hey, Harold, do you want to recast the light on my shield? How does Frank feel about that? What is his reaction? To what? The message you got. No. Oh, oh, sorry. I assume that was going to Harold. Sorry, my bad. Um. Do I recognize the voice? I guess I'll let him do that. Um, roll a insight. Oh, yeah. You most definitely recognize the voice. Uh, who is it? Or, you know, PM me or... It's the one that you're running away from. Gotcha. <laughs> pretty pretty <laughs> much. I mean, I mean that, that seems like it would Dead. be fairly obvious, but he's like, I will find you no matter where you go. <laughs> Dead asleep to dramatic gopher, you know? Um, I'm going to look around the room... Well, shoot, I'm going to turn on a light and look around the room. I guess while that happens, I'm going to look at Daniel and be like, or look at Harold and be like, hey, we should wake everybody up. I think it's about time. Yep. If they're not awake, we're going to just gently, you know, have I'm Daniel gonna, move in with the bright light I just cast on his shield. First, okay. I'm going to stop my bashing and give him a nudge. Be like, just wakey, wakey. It's like just before you, you actually like touch me, I start moving. Okay, cool. Good morning. Hope you slept well. Hello. Oh, what Walk happened? into the room nice and bright. <laughs> 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 I like your mixing. Gonna bellow. 
Good morning! <laughs> Just to make sure everyone's up. Okay. In a panic, Frank turns on the brightest <laughs> light, looks around, and then trips over that bone wall right there. It falls through the divider or whatever it is. Uh, Frank, you okay there, bud? You good? What's wrong? You guys, I'm hearing voices too. This isn't good. You're, You're crazy hearing together, voices? Harold. What do you mean, too? <laughs> oh, yeah. Shoot. Well, someone was just speaking to me in my head. It's not good. Did they tell you weird. Thing? You're I'm not never... religious or anything, are you? It wasn't like your god or whatever talking to you? Uh, no, but I think we should be on the lookout for ambushes. All right. Well, I guess let us know if you hear anything else. Yeah. Do you know who contacted you? Yeah, very bad guy. He's a guy, not a girl. Yeah, his name's Damien. And he doesn't like me. Oh, that's weird. Just steal his woman. Nope. Was that the person you took the shield from? I guess, should nope. we be concerned if he were to suddenly pop up and try to kill you? Yes. I assume he's gonna... Okay. Yeah, if anyone saves me from him, I will give you the rest of this bottle of whiskey. Aha! <laughs> whiskey, eh? Too early for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, never too early. Somebody it's has fine. to watch you. Huh? This is not here to watch me, I know. No, this is not here to watch you, so I guess it's going to come down to the next best person to do it. Nah, you guys are going to let me, I'm sure. What do you use that on, Bastion? The uh, staff pieces. I'm trying to put the staff back together before I put it so, away. So as soon as you put the staff together... It screams out, help, help, thief, thieves, get away, alarm. I think you need to s separate that, man. <laughs> Keep yeah, I separate. think you should break that. <laughs> so I, I, I think one of us should have one piece and the uh, another one should have the other piece. Just to make sure I'm, that they don't get back I'm together that easily, you know? Over my knee. The, the the alarm goes off uh, uh, dissipates so that explains why it was broken I I don't blame him yeah no that that was that was a thing since when does a staff have a voice we should Items I'm curious want them. but we should like do that when we're not trying to die Alright, let's do that when we come back then. Though, so, hey, it seems to have made a great door wedge. I mean, we can use it the next time, too. He broke it. Bastion, actually, roll a strength check. Show me the one. <laughs> you, you broke it back in two. Okay. I'm just gonna I was going to say, if you back. roll a 20, you shattered it. Ah. Oof. I'm gonna <laughs> rolls a 1, it just bounces. <laughs> <laughs> Breaks leg instead. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, I just, I lose grip on one hand, and it just smacks me in the face. <laughs> While or it's still flies yelling Flies off at you. to somebody else. Alright, uh, so I'm just going to put the two pieces back in my bag. Okay. I'm I'm not like trying to hide the fact that I somehow put two staff pieces into a bag. But nobody's really noticed this so far. The day um, is yours, ladies and gents. You could As I reach for the door, does it fall over? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. It's just kind of just that slow, dramatic. <laughs> Bounces on the ground like a little vat. Just fills me with confidence now. <laughs> well, I'm glad nothing came in. Otherwise, well. Oh, no, no, yeah. there's anything on the other side. Well, there's a reason now why I put the staff pieces in the door. I think the door would have just fallen with the staff in it. No, I wished yeah. it. So, so, where do we which need? Which door? The okay. open one or the non open one? So, there's a. If you go through the door on the left, there is another door there. So, we have choices number one or number two. Mm. I think we one should go down this one. Two being that one. Who wants to go down the main door? Who wants to go down the side door? I kind of want to try that main door, too. Richter, didn't you go down the left door? Or does it keep going? It It's like, um... Kind of like dining a... Hall. Yeah, dining hall. And then there's another door around the corner. Hmm. I think we should see where the dining hall goes. Yeah, we Ooh, should. Ooh, I like food. Oh, we wait, should rations. continue with the extermination of these assholes that attacked us. Yeah. I, Before I... we get too far, I'm going to cast Detect Magic. It's a ritual. So I'm just going to sit here for 10 minutes. If that's cool with everyone else. I guess I'm going to stay just to keep It on. would give time to like eat breakfast from one of our rations. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good point. Do we need to mark off rations? Yes. They're a day ration, so it would be enough for one day. So at the end of today, that would yeah. be one ration. And we got. So there was 33 days divided by. I went by ahead and took day? 10. I had. Well, we, I had rations on me, but yeah. Yes, yeah, so you would have had ten from like your starting equipment, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then everyone else takes like four from the thirty-three that I found. I took ten just to carry them since yeah, the weight's not an issue. Yeah. Well, if, if you're taking the rations, then as long as we evenly distribute. And yeah, I'll pass them out as we go. Yeah. No, I can wait. I just used the one that I had in my backpack. You know, making some more space. Yeah, I'll do that. Alright, 19 more to go. So who cleaned my backpack? Um... Not me, I was sleeping. What do you, what do you mean, clean? Well, I mean... I woke up and somebody organized all my stuff. It's all still there, but somebody organized it. Nobody came and messed with your bag. And I'm no, I did. I messed, I messed with your bag. I came in. I heard rustling, so I set it in the center of the room. And I looked for any rats or anything, but there wasn't anything in the bag. So I put it back. Was it all organized when you looked through it, or you put it all back organized? It was organized. I didn't really. I looked for the rats or whatever, and that was it. So the noise we heard was somebody organizing. Yeah, that, that means somebody. Something. Yeah. I, I usually just throw stuff in here, and I woke up this morning, and it was all put away nice and even, you know, according to size and color. And Harold, make another inside check. Would, since Daniel's also kind of in the Daniel. know of. And Daniel. Huh? Gosh darn it! <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Daniel. I have it all figured out. <laughs> you could give Daniel. You would highly know that his girlfriend, <laughs> who from another world, who organized his backpack for him. I'm not gonna let on that I know. I'm. I'm not gonna probably pull him to the side. Yeah. Later. My question is, where did that freaking potion come from last night? 
Oh, hey. Oh, wait. yeah, we found another potion. Yeah. Did y'all have, like, a weird portal open up in the ceiling and just drop it? Yeah, and just a vial just yeah. drops on the ground? Yeah, we had that happen. Ours was a health potion. Ours Harold, what was, was it that they gave you? Climbing potion for us. Huh. I gave it away to uh, Harold. Because, you know, you want him to survive somehow. Yeah, that's true, that's true. We had a... What did you say it was, Daniel? It, it's a healing potion. Just standard healing potion. I'm going to give the healing potion to Bastion. And say, hey friend, you look like you need this. Apparently you seem to get... you're hit hard. Well, yeah, you, you seem to be getting targeted a lot, and I can just magically dodge all these crossbow bolts, apparently, so why don't you hold on to this for a while? Okay. Uh, and I'll give you the potion of healing. Out of conversation question, where do we have all the daggers to stuff at? Are those just in my bag? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna pull a couple of those out and put them in, like, a pocket. A pocket? I don't ex I don't have a sheath for them. I'm just pulling them out of the bag. Okay. Pocket daggers. Just I as have them as pocket ready at hand. He's gonna look and have holes in his pockets later. <laughs> Where'd those daggers go? <laughs> they were here. So you guys finish your morning breakfast, and you're going through which door? Yeah, uh, we're going left. I think. Oh, hey, hey, Harold. I'm going to try yeah. to time this so that right when we start Let's, getting, uh, uh, bring up the rear for the detect okay. magic. So no that magical presence. Well, I'm never our... using detect good and evil again. Uh, Resident's listener is not with us right now. I guess I'll listen at the door. Why is okay. someone shedding so much light? We're bright! <laughs> well, We're in a small room. Gosh darn it! Why are you so, complaining? I'm the one that wants the darkness. You hear nothing well, on the other side of the door. Check it for traps. Sure. not trapped as far as you know is there anything on this table <laughs> or is this where Richter investigated already that's where I got the stuff from got it okay. um, all right Buckbeak opens the door yeah I was about to say step back you found Baby, you sound so me. confident in your roles there and uh, well, it's when you Buck added in the, the door. as far as you know and I'm like, oh that's we're going over here <laughs> Why are you guys acting all paranoid? I don't understand. It's not like I'm trying to make y'all act paranoid. There may be rats on the other side. Come on, man. Does anything happen when Buckbeak opens the door? I nope. look at I look at the ceiling. Are there any doppelgangers? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Buckbeak's um, gonna I'm gonna go ahead and recast whatever it is. The, uh... This guy's... Oh, where is it? You're in the line. I'll find it here in a second. When you guys come through the door, uh, you come across six pillars pockmarked with tiny indentations stretch the length of the hall. I'm going to investigate them closer to see if there's any meaning that I can understand from that. Okay. Me as well. I don't, I don't know, Jack. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Uh, I believe it's artwork. Oh. 
Okay, Wait. so we have a Richter. We have a series of directions to go. Your passive. Um. A maggot-ridden corpse of a dead human lies face down on the floor, next to a discarded scimitar, a light crossbow, and a money pouch. Well, I'll take the money pouch and check the body to see if there's anything of significance. Anything money else? pouch is empty, and. Wait, don't go beyond the pillars. <laughs> beyond, remember that um, thing at the entrance? Um, the one that was translated from Elvish. By Sage. Um. That's the, um, something about your the Your passive... Forest. Also shows that the bandit died from puncture marks all over the leathered armor. But his weapons are intact. Okay. Is there any like you blood you can is make there a blood trail that's coming? You can make a medicine check. Uh, this guy died from numerous spider bites and ensuing poison. I guess while there's nobody really around me and Harold, can I kind of nudge him and be like, I think I know who organized your bag. Who? Okay, if I'm looking around, do I see anything spider-like? Make a perception check. No spiders. But I will give the long room that you left going right. Um, further down. The room is covered in cobwebs. And you said this guy died from puncture wounds that went through his leather armor? Yes. Okay. And I'm okay. gonna... Tr so there's <laughs> a dead body up there. Oh, is there? Harold, I'll tell you yeah. later. And he looks like he's covered in spider bites that went through leather armor. Spider bites? Uh, I kind of want to see this. Same. Can I, I have to... look out of curiosity? What kind of spider can bite through leather? Big ones. Mean ones. Make a nature check. Nature. Nature. Kai Venom, you know it would be giant spiders. Um, guys, there's giant spiders around here. Like, really big spiders. You would too, Bastion. Over your years of solitude, you had seen giant spiders. I just realized I came out of that room and I'm like, Hey kids, do you want to see a dead body? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Daniel's also going to go check out the body. <laughs> and everyone answered with, yeah, yeah, I do. <laughs> Kai Venom, do you have an inspiration die? Uh, yeah, I do still. Okay. Harold? Yeah. Okay. Wait, no, I don't. I was saying, yeah, I was answering as Harold. You do not have an inspiration die. I do not. You do now. Woo. Or bringing up the notes. 
Are there any spiders on the ceiling of the dead guy room? No. I'm gonna check the dead body anyway, just to confirm. Mm -hmm. Medicine Jack. While my ten minutes are still up for the uh, detect magic, I'm just gonna start going down this hallway. Uh, Bastion, nope, stop, 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 okay. stop, stop. Do not you, go forward. You can't see down there, but you're going towards cobwebs. Um, Bastion, don't go that way. Okay. Seriously, there's big spiders, if you didn't hear me earlier. <laughs> mm -hmm. I Mr. DM, I, I got a 24. Do not be the Nissa that keeps opening doors without checking. <laughs> the other robot who doesn't listen. <laughs> Sorry, what? I had a glitch in my hearing system. <laughs> the body is riddled with maggots. And it smells really bad. And you could tell that he died from puncture wounds and poison oh, that I... pierced all over his body through his leather armor. So the additional information I gather is poison. Can yeah. I take a look okay. at the poison? What type of poison it is? Spider venom. I think you mentioned poison when I checked out. No, it was just that the spider bites had punctured the armor. Mm. Um, um. Hey, is there anything? They're they're uh definitely poisonous guys. Uh, There's a scimitar and crossbow bowl crossbow and 12 more crossbow bolts I'm gonna take some crossbow bolts um I, yeah, I you, you take them I've got, I've got plenty okay cool thanks um, and, and Daniel I think you mean venomous the only poison is poisonous if you bite them <laughs> technically yeah. her veins are filled with alcohol. So, te technically it is poison. Oh, you know what? I just realized, Venom. You can't get drunk. Uh-huh. That's why I was talking about that last time, but you were like, no. <laughs> okay. Yes, boss. Because alcohol is considered poison in the it real is. world. You know, it just clicked. <laughs> yep. <laughs> is, Bring is that me that the, booze. Is that the sole purpose why you made this character? So you can't get drunk? <laughs> that would be a fantastic idea. <laughs> you just Which drink headed? everyone under the table. If we go right, there's spiders. So I'm Y'all don't left. know that, by the way. <laughs> hey! Magical alcohol can still get you drunk. Yeah, but it's magical. That's normal. So we're going left. It, hey, it's like there? that's where I started going because I'm trying to explore it's like as much Captain as America. As it takes magic. Gets him. Did we check this body already? Or no, not? this one's new. This one's new. An oh. alcove in the northwest corner <laughs> contains a rusty pile of armor. The remains of a suit of animated armor that was destroyed years ago by adventurers. Um, guys? I'm investigating this alcove. That's bug beak. I'm gonna investigate it too. You don't need to. I just oh, read it. Never mind. Fine then. <laughs> Kill my oh, no, no. today. You're right, nothing your magical. Passive, your passive be. would. All of you gathered in that. Frank's passive would. So everybody right. except Daniel would pass it. <laughs> no, I just okay. got insight going for me. That's it. Yeah, your insight's pretty. Dumb. Hey, and, and my I insight, my medicine are fantastic. I heard my name. I'm down the hall. My deception is. Uh, I just had a thought. You guys what? said when the what happened when the potion fell from the ceiling, a gate opened up. Yeah. You want to the take same a look? thing? The same thing happened to us. Do you think that has anything to do with the gates of the Mad Mage that he's casting spells from behind? Hmm. Could be. Maybe. Maybe. Well, why would he well, be I wanting mean, to help us? I don't that, know. 
those pillars over there, I didn't trust them already and reminded me of that passage that we had at the very beginning. Where did we... I'm just posing a thought. We're going to be in here a long time. We should think oh, about there these things. <laughs> oh, there's a door here. Frank would like yeah, to Buckbeak that, is staying door. with Duck, Buckbeak is staying uh, with whoever's up front. Oh, Frank is uh, listening. You hear nothing behind the door. Uh, I'll get down to this uh, alcove down in the corner here, and it feels weird to have a dead end. So I'm gonna see if I can find maybe a secret door. Sure. Investigate. Yes. <laughs> it finally struck him. Dead end, guys. Dead end. Are you sure? I mean, I investigate. I search for things as a profession. So yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing down there. Let me Kai check. Venom and Bastion. Yeah. Roll investigation. Yeah. Fine. Don't trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Bastion, you think it's just a dead end, but Kai Venom, there's a secret door. Oh, where is my secret door? Why do I smell? Oh, I think I found it. <clears throat> Dude, um, fine. Guys, let Buck, hold on, hold on. Let Buckbeak come in there with you. I ran it down the hallway. Does anything happen to Buckbeak when Buckbeak goes in the room? Do I no. find it? Okay. Uh, on the floor, a green copper helm with a protective visor lies on the floor, draped in cobwebs. And on the north wall, atop a marble riser, stands a slender throne, also made of green copper and covered with cobwebs. Are we talking about a throne? No, no. No, no, no. no. If, before no. you sit on the no. throne, check it for traps this time. I'm gonna go back and wait all the way by this other As soon as we hear that, nope. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up the helmet and, and just Someone kind of check it out and see, for traps, see if there's so. anything interesting about it. <clears throat> Is your detect magic on? Yes. Theoretically. Faint. Has ten minutes passed. Wow. Well, fa faint magical essence coming from the helm okay. helmet and um, the throne we said to verify the the trap, the so what is there's magic there, there's a little bit of magic in both the helm and the throne so Ooh, wait, I want to sit on wait. it even more no, now no 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 wait <laughs> just wait I'm not saying so you, you can't... Kai Venom before he wait. says no 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 wait <clears throat> no I wait <laughs> And you have a giant robot lady who opens doors without listening correctly, and then you have a snake woman who wants to sit on every single throne. Hey, no one knows I'm a snake. It's just started the day off sitting on the throne. Your identifier doesn't work on it. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna I was gonna identify the, the helm first. Doesn't work. Okay. And I'm going to try to do it on the chair as well. The the throne. Doesn't work. Looks like it's just a copper green throne. Matches the helmet. I thought you said they were magical. I know. There's faint magic aura? Yeah. Okay. So. Can I sit on it now? I'm going to hold an action for hey, Harold, getting ready to smack the hell out of something. Then. With uh, yeah, I saw a it. booming blade at the ready. Roll an arcana check. Mr. Bastion. Oh crap, that was Buckbeak. <laughs> Can I keep that? <laughs> Can I keep the 20 but add my bonus on to it? <laughs> That's a nat 20 and minus 3. Well, uh, yeah, he's, he's been that was, that was Buckbeak. His uh, Buckbeak no, he nailed it. Buckbeak. <laughs> Look at Buckbeak go. <laughs> <laughs> Buckbeak, like, <laughs> Buckbeak knows what it is, but he can't mm -hmm. tell anyone. Buckbeak be like, burr, burr. Yeah, Buckbeak understands 
language, but I don't think Buckbeak can actually talk. I, I don't know. It actually doesn't say anywhere. Buckbeat understands you, but do you understand Buckbeat? No idea. It doesn't. <laughs> uh... Push the red button, Kai Valen. <sighs> Push pull the lever, Gronk. I am pushing the red button. Yeah, that was, that was off. And so, uh, yeah, my roll sucked. Buck so, Beaks was a as you sit on top of the throne, a ceiling panel opens up. Oh. And. That's how we open up the ceiling, guys. Above the throne, and a tube shaped compartment in the ceiling drops a wand of some sort on top of your head and you take three points of damage. Ow! Wow. That was a hard uh, drop. What the hell? What is this? Is, is this how you get gifts in here or something? This thing hurts though. Yeah, hey, Bastion, you try and sit on it. See what happens. Looks like a wand. Um, I'm going to identify it. It's a wand of secrets. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wand of secrets. All right, Frank will sit on the chair then. Nothing comes out. Son of a bitch. <laughs> I got the thing for the chairs, man. So we have a a wand, a wand of secrets. Oh, oh what, what is how secretive. <laughs> So Wand of Secrets has three charges. While you're holding it, you can use an action to expend one charge. And if a secret door or trap is within 30 feet of you, the wand pulses and points at the one nearest to you. Wand regains D3 charges daily at dawn. Oh, that's kind of I thought cool. you were just being sarcastic. I'm, I'm going to be serious here. <laughs> I, it's I, a I, serious I, item. Secrets. Same, same, same <laughs> thought. So, <laughs> thought you were just with us again. I don't even know how to add that to inventory, but um. At uh, least Richter took it seriously. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, sort of. I also just typed yeah. it into D and D Beyond to see if it's actually a thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, let's right, go check so out the. Who's gonna hold on to the wand? Is the question. Um. I um, think Richter. I'm pretty he good. Because he likes to scout things out. Whoever sucks at checking for traps. Uh, probably. Which could be a few of us. What's the, um... Who's what's the role anyway for the traps? I never know. It's usually investigation. I've got a plus eight on investigate, so I usually don't. I have plus that. one. Wait, what does it do when you expend the slot? It points to a trap or a secret door. Trap, eh? Or a secret door. But you only have should, three charges. Shouldn't we give it to the person who's generally pulling up the lead and searching? That would be Nissa. Um, but she doesn't search, she just opens. Maybe giving it to her will mean that she stops just randomly opening doors. Oh, you think that's going to help her? Yeah, who, who likes to search the most? Sure, we can give it to her when she's back. <coughs> Bless you. That's a good idea. Sorry, no, no, no. Thank you. So. I heard through the door earlier that there wasn't anything on the other side that I heard. Nope. Okay, Bugbeak's gonna open the door. Harold, why are you still down in the corner? I was okay. scratching my dog. That is an interesting room. Interesting, huh? What the fuck? I need Sorry. Buck. I need Buckbeak, Bastion, Harold. Oh God damn it! You moved in the spot, and uh, I did too. you three need to roll a Dex save. Uh, 
Wait, I just moved into the spot, do I too? Don't fuck me! Where are you? I don't see you. I'm right above, uh, Harold. I'm curious, so I just... Oh, I you're on top. Me, you're me on the same... Smacked by whatever yeah. the hell. I'm on the same square as I'm new. Yes, roll a dex save. In hindsight, I shouldn't have been standing in front of the door. Kai Venom and Bastion. You guys get... Skulls tumble into the hall when the door is open. The entire room is filled to the ceiling with skulls of dead adventurers and other what humanoids who cross the Hollister. Thousands Joy. of skulls have accumulated here. You guys uh, get engulfed in skulls. Oh. Harold and Buckbeak jump out of the way. Just in time. I'm gonna try. Frank is gonna try and grab Bastion to pull him out of the way, and just he doesn't move at all. Roll a strength check. FYI, I'm very hit. Yeah, that was my point. With advantage because he's, you're technically helping him. <laughs> get out. Guys, what the fuck? And find wolf. it all of a sudden. Oh, there it is. So you, you get him. Notice, you, <laughs> you get him out <coughs> of the skulls. <laughs> Question: Are these skulls like bleached white, or are they like various forms of rotting, decay skulls, or various forms of humanoid and monsters alike? Is there any way into the room, or is it just more skulls? More skulls all the way down, piling out into the hallway. I'm I'm going to look at all the skulls and see if I recognize any of them from all the killing. Wait, yeah. Maybe before we're can checking we, out the skulls, we should get out of the hallway that's rapidly filling with skulls. Can you close? Can we get the door closed? No. No, the door is jammed open. There's there's too much cover in front of it. All right, let's get out of here then. I'm yep. trying to get out of this cool still. <laughs> Do I need a check to jump over the skulls? Survival for Bastion, Frank, Daniel, Richter. What? Actually, it'd be a athletics. Sorry. Mm. Hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> And Richter, dead. you slip on a skull. Frank, you do too. Just trying to get over. Oh god, there's just more skulls. 19. Daniel, you're fine. Die. You're so wet. Bastion, you're still Somehow struggling. Somehow I slip on the skull? <laughs> I don't just crush it. <laughs> you're... You crush it, but you crush many, and you're struggling, and you create a path for Daniel to get by with ease. Uh, I proceed. Appreciated. Would it be a perception or an investigation to check out the heads? Do you really want to check the heads? I'm, I'm I just want to know if I recognize any of them from anybody we've killed on our way. Sure. <laughs> I mean, they're skulls. Can you really identify a person by a skull? Well, no. he said they're in, they're in various forms, so I'm assuming there there might be some fresh, and then there's some that are very not. They're long dead. Oh, okay. Then never mind. I thought there was some that were newer additions. All right. So slipping on the skulls. Is there anything happen, or I just keep trying to like push my way through? Swimming in skulls. Swimming in the skulls. And, the skulls. and they just trying? keep piling out. <coughs> Athletic check for you four. Oh, that one almost was a two. 
Frank, you're just having a hard time, man. Thinking in the quicksand of skulls. Alright, someone just toss Bastion a rope and we'll try and pull him through. Damn, I'm too big. I have to push too many out of my way to get through. You're having a very hard time, Kai Venom. You're being crushed with skulls. And the guy's passing by. As they're, everybody's passing by, you're getting a little overwhelmed, a little freaked out. I'm gonna... And you take Sorry. three points of damage from the pressure of all the skulls. Me I'll too. grab Kai Venom by the wrist and try and like, pull her out of the skulls. I'm, I'm going to try to just block as many skulls as I can until everybody else can get by. They're up to your waist at this point in the hall. So I'm going to try and pull Kai Venom out. Give her a hand there. Okay. Or uh, actually, Daniel would be better at it since he's actually um, strong. Yup. I'm going to get out of your way, sir. You do your thing. <laughs> Uh, what? Strength check? Does he pull him out? Yes. You get her out. Oh. You get out, Frank. Okay, good. And here, toss this rope to Bastion. Get him out, too. So... Kai Venom's out? Alright. Um, Bastion's still on the other side. Bastion, you get... to here. You're Whoever's there. pulling on the rope is probably going to notice I'm very heavy. I'm going like, to e- pull Bastion the rest of the way out. Or not. <laughs> He's very heavy. I can't. Where are you that. made of? <laughs> you I get, get out. free. You get free. <laughs> on your own volition. It, it is. The skulls are just overflowing and don't seem to stop. <laughs> I take my rope back. I, hey, let's back. get out of here. I yeah. coil back up your rope and hand it back to you. There can't be another um, passageway in here, right? I mean, there has to Who's be. got the wand? I do still. Just test it out. It seems to be that the secret doors tend to be in the, the alcoves and like ends of passageways and such. Have we come across any that are in the middle? Yes, at the very beginning. Actually, yeah, where we ran into the coffin oh, sarcophagus thing. Slimy. Uh, um, so... I mean, do you want to try using the one? See what happens? Uh, oh, hold on. Why not? It's got three charges and recharges? Yeah, it recharges at dawn. Well, while you well, do we're check... The, we're in the morning, though. Do we want to use it? If you do or don't, I'm going to do... If we sit here for 10 minutes, I can cast Detect Magic. Well, I th- Would Detect Magic show up? Uh, secret doors and such? I'm assuming there's magic hiding this door, unless it's like a oh, physical... Unless it's a mechanical thing. Yeah, that. I mean, we got the wand. Can't hurt to use it. So, assuming there's no more secret doors, are we going for spiders or are we doubling back? Um, uh, we're all rested up. Okay, go forth. Well, I'm hurting a little bit. I don't know about you guys, but um, <clears throat> the 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 skulls hurt, man. How? Uh, how much? Okay. Or like, how bad do you? Um, I- I'll be okay for now. I just mean I'm not the hundred percent. So, Richter, um. Life-size granite statues of human warriors facing inward stand atop two rows of pedestals that run through the hall. Don't go too far. There's Talk spider those ones. Yes. The okay. ones in front of you. The ceiling is as long as the hall is 20 feet high, arched, and slightly obscured by thick webs. Should we burn the webs? I think this might be the chance to try the uh, the wand. See if it shows any traps in there. That seems like a decent sure. idea. Sure, let's do it. I brandished the wand. I think you should get a little bit closer. Uh, do I? Watch. 
I don't know. I don't do magic. Alright, I brandished a wand. Is there any magic around here? Please let me know. How do you do this? There are no traps 30 feet from you. And that expends a charge. Sure. I think it was worth it. Nothing happened. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I'd um, say let's burn the webs. Yeah, I'm tempted to burn the webs. Like, if one of us gets stuck in it, that could... Even if, like, I mean, burning the webs would be helpful because, you know, a spider maybe come jump out at us or something, you know. It'd be yeah. on fire instead. Oh, somebody with fire hit it. I just got back. I'm going to just start spamming fire bolt the can <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad idea. Either use a torch, maybe, if you don't want to use your magic. The it's hallway. just it's a cantrip. I can cast it over and over every six seconds. Alrighty. The hallway... lights up from where you guys are standing to all the way down at the end of the hall, and you see a doorway because it is like daylight in here. There, let me catch back up. Oh, there you go. For you guys that had a hard time seeing, now you see. It still looks dark. You could probably, like, change the lighting settings for right now up to daylight, and it would illuminate that whole hallway. Don't know how. Um, There should be... It's either... a a button that looks like a crescent moon, I think. Or maybe it's in the lighting settings. But it goes away as soon as the cobwebs are done. Yeah, but if you light it up... So if you go into the lighting settings, I think you'll have, like, a sun, like, one that looks like dusk, and then a moon for, for night. So if you set it to the daylight, it'll light up the hallway... And then we'll see that pass, like, you know, the whole fog of war thing. And then once the lighting's gone, you can bring it back down to the darkness. Frank's going to pet Buckbeak before uh, Bastion sends him in. Does Buckbeak <coughs> react at all? Buckbeak would acknowledge it. It's kind of... It would ruffle its feathers you might notice that they're all metal even though it looks it doesn't look like metal except for the places where they like, obviously hold that work yep oh hold on there's more <clears throat> but Buckbeak looked like he liked it yeah yeah, and just kind of, di yeah, uh, you know, like how a dog, where like sometimes if you give them a scratch, they'll just kind of do a little shake. Got it. Well, let's go open the door. Okay, I let Bugby go first. You guys can go ahead. And so Bugby, fifteen feet ahead of whoever is leading the pack. It's just hard for me to actually move both tokens at the same yeah. time. And unforeseen, once you say the flames dissipate, now you can click the option and bring it back down to darkness, which would be like the moon or whatever. So there is a way to, uh, hallway down here before the very end. And some spider corpses. I'm gonna go check the. Oh, hey, there's a message way down below. Have another door. So, Bastion, uh, you find three giant spiders lie dead at various points in the hallway, riddled with crossbow bolts. The hall holds 
38 statues, 19 each row. Their nameplates have been severely chipped or defaced, as have many of the statue's features. Are they warriors, mages? Just You can't tell. Can't tell. Yeah, they're just old statues. Hey, guys. Are they, they like life size? Sorry. Always. No, go they're ahead. They're not life size. <coughs> life size granite statues. Sorry. I'm just yelling out to you guys. Hey, there's a door down here. I'm going to listen at the door. See if there's anything. To double back. Away. Oh. Do I hear anything from the door? Nope. Okay. Uh, check for traps. It'll be from. It's not trapped. Okay, step back from the door, and we'll have Buckbeak open just in case something's on the other side of, like last time. Go oh, expendable thing. <laughs> Expendable? Not really. Resilient? I mean, you're throwing them at everything that could be a possible trap. It's a closet. It's Do an I empty see... room. Empty room. Empty room. Do I see anything in here? Nope. It's an empty room. Why is there an empty room? Just I, I don't trust empty rooms. Use, I don't look... the, use the wand! I will use the wand already. Yeah, you can use it. How many or, more times? Or I, could, or I could just check to see if there's a secret door here. Do I see anything? Is there a secret door? <laughs> <laughs> Roll a d100. A goblin skull chatters its teeth on the ground. Well, that's unsettling. Does it stop after a couple of seconds, or does it just go? Keeps going. Kick Can I crush it with my foot? Just like stomp on it? <laughs> Try. Uh, strength check? Yep. Or attack roll. Of your strength. Doesn't shatter. You know those toys? You know those... You know those clattering teeth toys? When you're... Mm -hmm. It's one of those. But in a goblin. I'll walk along the wall with my hand on it. I think I'm gonna do that for now. I'm just walk around the door with my head on it. Yeah, there's another door before the end. Another door. Uh, listen and check for traps. Anyone else want to listen or check for traps? Uh, you seem to be good at that. Don't forget, you have that wand. This is true. Nothing. You hear nothing. Oh, what? I don't know why that one had advantage. You did 2d10 two, two, two uh, advantage. No traps. No traps. <laughs> oh, I feel like you're wasting all your... I'm wasting all, all your... these 20s. <laughs> <laughs> Cut to next combat when he can't hit anything. One, 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 one. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, okay, back from the door. Here, I'll have Buckbeak open it. Are you sure you want to be that close to the door? Oh, you guys are boring. Okay, but Buckbeak, open the door. Nothing uh, happens. This room is empty. The northern tunnel gradually slopes down 20 feet. Uh, 
Um, guys, there's a passageway. No? Or is that would just you, Uh, would you say that ten minutes has gone by? Yes. Okay. Uh, so my detect magic has borne off. At the... We should slow it up and be careful. You coming, Daniel? Yep. Sorry. Just looking at something. There's a statue. Um, don't wait before you touch the statue. I need water. <laughs> I'm gonna take a look around in here, see if there's anything of significance. Alright. Uh. The room's domed ceiling is about 15 feet high at the edges and 30 feet high in the middle. The dome is filled with sizzling acid that defies gravity as it floats 15 feet above the floor. Huh? When you step out of the room. Eight foot tall statue of a four armed fish monster, a petrified. Roll a nature check if anybody's looking. A petrified Sahaguin. Baron with no trident stands in the middle of the room facing north. Its webbed hands clutch an ornate one foot square stone box with a lid and a keyhole. Uh, I think we should take out the should take out the wand right now and okay. swing it around carefully from yeah from there. I am swinging the rod around. <laughs> the acid floating it in the domed area overhead is held there by magic. Um, and it doesn't seem to be trapped. Guys, there's no traps, but there's... Wait, wait. So is he, is he just palming the box, or has he got a grip on it? He, he's palming it. All right, I got something for this. I got a trick for this. Wait, let me read Sure. Can. Cl hands clutched and it's clutched. It's clutched. So, yes. So we'd have to rip the box out somehow if we wanted the box. Destroy if you want the box. box. I can get the box away. Hold on. Let me double check. Can also, like, the box can also be opened? I'm assuming that'll drop acid. One sec. Assumption is the biggest of all fuck ups. True. And he said it wasn't trapped. Yeah, it's not trapped. At least the one says it's not trapped. Well, I. Alright, guys, I, I think I still have a trick. If everyone would step out of the room. What, you're gonna cast Fireball? No. Nope, my thing won't work. He's gonna any eye Jones it. Nope. I'm going <laughs> to take off the covering of my light. One sec. That shoot did. Oh, happen. but your wand does pick up a secret door. Oh, I'm going to go see that. <laughs> Just wait for Frank to do his thing. Uh. I bash and step out. All right, and then I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna summon Frank. Huh? Uh, what? Aren't you Frank? No, Frank no. is summoning Frank. It, it's Frank with a K. <laughs> it's a little bit different. So I'm gonna summon oh, an unseen servant, and I'm gonna send the unseen servant in there, and. uh have the unseen servant try to open the box. Okay. It's locked. It's locked. All right. I'm going to... Can he take in. the box away from the statue? 
Now it's clutched. And Unseen Servant isn't that strong. All right, I'm going to try and uh, uh, unlock the box. Okay. Just unlock it, not open it. Just unlock. Okay. Roll uh, a... Do you Actually, have for thief this tools? one... Oh. Yeah, if you, do you have Thief Tools? Yes. Yeah. So if you go into your inventory and hover over the Thief Tools and click on the dice that shows up, it'll roll for that from there. Very good. Nice. Uh... Okay. Just unlocking it, not opening it. Not opening it? Click. No. It's, it's unlocked. unlocked. Alright, and Frank backs out of the room again. Hold on. Yeah. Who was in the room when you unlocked it? It was just me. Just Frank. I was just sitting right above the okay. So the acid from the ceiling falls, dousing you with Oof. 18 points of acid damage. Uh-oh. And your unseen servant disappears. Is my unseen servant concentration? Uh, no, it's not concentration. But oh, my lights well disappear. Something disappears. <laughs> it's my but lights. The unseen servant was in the room as well? Oh, yeah, you're right. Unseen Servant's screwed. <laughs> it's dead. <laughs> and... The hallway that all of you are in starts to fill up with acid. Oh. What about me? Get out of here. You're <laughs> run. Did you grab the box? Uh... I need... Everybody... Did it fill all the way up to even where I was? Yes. Wow. It's a lot of acid. <laughs> Everybody takes eight points of acid. Well, if I got dumped on by the acid, I'm going to grab the box and run. If possible. Uh, I need a strength check. Athletics. Okay. I think he got it. <laughs> so I got the box? Yeah, you got the box. Everybody right, takes... It. Hold on. Everybody go back to the room that you were in. want to run away <laughs> all right and i was positioned there something happens i lost my place where is it okay frank the petrified statue comes alive and attacks you. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, but this has it. With its paws to off here in a little bit. And it's bite. Well, two bites. Misses. And... Where the hell... 
There we go. Want me to roll for initiative? Yes. Everybody roll for initiative. Dang, nabbit. Well, we can save this fight for next time, right? Yep. I always get such crap initiative. I'll trade. Damn. I don't mind going last. <laughs> Oops. Stupid buck beak. Update. his passion. And we will stop here and save it for the next go. Boop.